Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this opportunity for us to come together again to pray to you, the God that answers prayer. We surrender ourselves to you and we surrender this program to you. We ask Almighty God that by your spirit, you will quicken us, you will lead us, Holy Spirit of God, teach us and help us to pray according to the will of God. And let the blessing be ours and let the glory be to God to, and to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. So once again, compliments of the season to everyone and welcome. Um, facilitator Brassoni, please. Um, um, Stream us live on Facebook if you can. Okay, so we have been um, praying for the past two days, and our focus has been a charge for us to be intercessors. Be an intercessor. And for reference, look again at that Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 14, and all the way down to 19. And you will see three people that were mentioned there as intercessors. And we also looked at uh, Exodus, chapter 22, 30 to 31, verse 31. And we saw um, additional person there in the person of Moses that should be added to uh, uh, those names, uh, the three names, making it four. Intercessors. And we say two, yes, two dimensions that we must always remember as intercessors. Yes. No Brother Sonny, there's two more accounts where you are, please. Number one, pleading the mercy of God for others, for another, the mercy of God. And number two, not just pleading that the, an intercessor also stands in the gap to stop evil, the intercessor stops evil and oppression in the life, your own life and in the life of others. Again, the charge is for us to be intercessor. And we say ultimately an intercessor saves himself, his family, the nation. So an intercessor saves the nation as big as the nation. And you remember in Psalm 2, Psalm 2, verse 8, Psalm 2, ask of me and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. So that's the beauty and benefit and potency of an intercessor. And that's why the charge for us at this time is be an intercessor. Today, we want to add one aspect which you would have taken from the prayer points that have been coming out. As an intercessor, you must see yourself as a spiritual house that is sanctified. Oh, that's one word that we no longer hear again. You must see yourself as a vessel, a spiritual house, a vessel of God. But let's keep it simple. You must see yourself as a vessel of God. You are a house where God dwells. And the house that God dwells must be sanctified. Sanctification <clears throat> is very important. Like I said, it's one word that we no longer hear. Oh, in those days when we were young Christians, you hear sanctification because it is something you must understand. So I want us to read a few scriptures to set the foundation of 
the realm we want to go to because today we want to then focus on our own self inside out. We've been doing a lot of the asking externally as intercessors, which is very good. Today we want to ask about our own self that we may be that vessel of gold, vessel of honor. Glory be to God. So 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 5. 1 Peter, let's start them. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 5. Please open your Bible with me to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 5. Let's read it together. I read, you also as living stones are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. An intercessor stands in the gap for himself, for his, uh, yeah, his family, and for others. Stands in the gap for others, more importantly, and stops evil and oppression. An intercessor saves a nation, asks God for nation. So to be able to do this, which you can see here, it says you, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. We must be a living stone, being built, built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood. We, so a house of honor, a vessel of honor, you must come to see yourself as that spiritual stone that has been built in the like, likeness of Jesus Christ. If you look at verse 4 of this same verse, it says, coming to him as a living stone, rejected indeed by, by men, but chosen by God and precious. So that first verse 4 was referring to Jesus Christ. And he then continued in verse 5 that you also, we also, as living stones are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. So as an intercessor, we must know how to be this vessel of honor, vessel of gold. It is this vessel of gold that will ask God for nations and God will answer. So how do we do that? By sanctification. By sanctification. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 23. Please look. Let's look at it together. That is, we then just go and pray. The prayer uh, points that we have already shared together and as the Spirit will lead us go deeper. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 23. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23. Let's read it. Now, may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely. And may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, Sanctification is very important. In John chapter 17, verse 17, remember, Jesus Christ said, Father, sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. So we are sanctified by the spirit of God with the word of truth. And that's why part of our prayer is, Father, put your truth in me. Let your truth, your truth be in me. You know, there are many who would say they have been born of the spirit and yet there is lie in them. And Jesus said, can a tree bear both grip and uh, what other tree did he mention? He said, no, a tree is known by its fruit. Make the tree good and the fruit will be good. So be sanctified by the spirit of God with the word of God. I should be sanctified then the truth 
of God. Uh, the word of God is the truth. So that truth will come out from us. Praise the name of the Lord. So very quickly, you may write this down. Sanctification, because it's really important. And as we are focusing on the year 2022, remember that's our focus. is our year of divine, divine abundant life. I've added that divine. So it's not just anyhow abundant life. It's not just abundant life of chasing everything in the world, as sometimes people make us all explain. Abundant life is this, is the divine one through God given to us by his son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. So sanctification is the remover removal of the nature of sin. It is like a surgical operation in our lives by the Spirit of God. It is the removal of the nature of sin by the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God removes the nature of sin in us. And this only is possible by faith in Christ Jesus, whose blood of atonement cleanses us from all sin. Praise the name of the Lord. So when we are sanctified, as I've just said, the fruit comes because the spirit is in us and the truth is in us. And we are not only deliver from the guilt of sin, we become very conscious and confident that our sins have been forgiven and removed, and we are washed and cleansed from the pollution of the flesh and of the world, and are saved from its power, and are thereby enabled by the grace of God to love God and to love the people, love God and love people. As Jesus said, we should love the, the Lord our God with all our heart, our soul, our strength, our mind, and our neighbor as ourselves. And one key important point is that by this grace, therefore, we are no longer under the power of sin. I believe it's 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14 and 15 that talks about that. Oh, no, Romans, rather, sorry. Romans chapter 6. So the sanctified life is no longer subject to the rudiments of this world, falling today, rising tomorrow. He's no longer responding to the lust of this world. So this is very crucial. This same First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3 says, for this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you should abstain from sexual immorality, for that each of you should know how to possess his own vessel in sanctification and honor, in sanctification and honor. That's the word for today. And we want to start from there. Praise the name of the Lord. All this is possible by the Spirit of God. So our three topics of prayer today, Christ be formed in me, that I may know him, Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, sanctification, gift, and guidance. I think we want to start from Holy Spirit, sanctification, gift, and guidance guidance, where the whole prayer flows together. So let's open our mouth now and tell him, Heavenly Father, let us pray. It's time to pray, brothers and sisters. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. Tell him, Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful to you for keeping me, keeping us, keeping my family so far in the year 2021. Father God, I thank you for the remaining days of 2021. Tell him, Heavenly Father, 
Thank you for every second, every minute, every hour, every day that is remaining in the year 2021. I thank you, Lord, for all that you have ordained for us, your children, for me, all you have ordained for me, all you have ordained for my family in the year 2021, Lord, I thank you. In the year 2022, rather, Father, I thank you for every second, every minute, every hour, every day that is remaining in the year 2022. Sorry, that <laughs> of the year 2022 that is coming. I thank you, Almighty God, for all you have ordained for me. We've already thanked God for the remaining days of 2021. Let's take that again. Tell him, Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I thank you for every second, minute, hour, and day in the year 2022 that is coming. And Lord, I thank you for what you have ordained already for me in that year that is coming. I thank you. Go ahead and give him thanks. Go ahead and give him thanks in those two dimensions. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us so far in the year 2021. And Lord, we thank you for the remaining days of year 2021. To you, our Father, be all glory. To you, our Father, be all honor. We thank you for the greater victories you have given us in the year 2021. And now, Father God, we join our voices and our faith together. And we thank you, Almighty God, for every second, minute, hour, and day in the year 2022, that day, that, that year that is coming. And we thank you, Almighty God, for what you have ordained for us in them, in those seconds, in those minutes, in those hours, in those days, in the year 2022. We thank you in advance for all the blessings, for all the, 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 the abundant life you have ordained for us in those uh, uh, times and seasons of the year 2022. To you, our Father, be all glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Now, we'll begin to pray. Say, Heavenly Father, pour your spirit upon me afresh. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and sanctify me by your spirit. Heavenly Father, Pour your Holy Spirit upon me afresh and sanctify me, O oh God, by your Spirit. Sanctify me, Lord. Sanctify me. Father, sanctify me by your Spirit, by your Holy Spirit. Pour your Spirit upon me afresh. Fill me with your Holy Spirit now. Now, my body, soul, and spirit, fill me, Almighty God. Fill me, Almighty God, with your Spirit. Fill me, Holy Spirit of God. Father, pour your spirit upon me. Go ahead and pray. Pour your spirit upon us, Heavenly Father. Oh, we have come to seek the infilling, the renewing of your spirit upon us in our lives. We have come, Lord, that you may make us indeed your holy temple, your house of prayer. Lord, pour your spirit upon us afresh. Pour your spirit upon me, upon my brothers, upon my sisters and sanctify me, sanctify us by your spirit. Heavenly Father, your word is truth, O oh God. Put your word in me, in my spirit. Put your word, put your word. Sanctify me by your spirit and by your truth. Your word is truth. Father, pour your spirit upon me, pour your spirit upon my brothers and sisters, pour your spirit upon us and sanctify us by your spirit and put your word in us and sanctify us by your word, by your truth. Your word is truth. Go ahead and pray that prayer for yourself. Pray that prayer for yourself. Father, go. Sanctify me. Sanctify my brothers. Sanctify my sisters. Sanctify every one of us, oh God, by your word. Your word is truth. Put your word. Put your word in us, in our inward man, in our inward mind. Let our minds, O oh God Almighty, be open to your truth, to understand your truth by your spirit. Put your truth in us. Put your truth in us. 
fill us, O God, afresh with your Holy Spirit and put your truth. Your word is truth. Sanctify us in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Pray again with me and say, Heavenly Father, quicken me by your Holy Spirit. And let anything in me that is not according to your righteousness be removed. Anything in me, any character, any habit, anything in me by your sanctification, by your spirit of sanctification, remove from me, O God, anything that is not according to your righteousness, any habit, any character, any way I do things that is not according to your righteousness. Remove it from me. Remove it from me. In the mighty name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. Pray that that anger be removed from you by the Spirit's sanctification. Pray, pray that that habit, pray whatever it is, pray. Even you who are often condemning yourself, when you are sanctified, you don't condemn yourself anymore. You have come to the place where you know and you know and you know that the Spirit of God has operated upon you. Like I said, it's like a surgical operation. We will find time to teach on this and not separately. It's like a surgical operation by the Spirit of God. God himself said, I will remove from you the nature of sin there, that I will give to you the heart of flesh that you will be able to obey me. It is by the Spirit. So pray, Father God, that anger, even that self-condemnation, that thing was if somebody offends you, oh, your whole emotion has been taken over. You cannot, you vibrate, you shake. Your eyes can no longer see. Your head can no longer think. You are red hot. Tell God, take it away from me. Galatians that we gave for us to study, Galatians chapter five, if you go reading from verse 16, you will see the works of the flesh. Those are the fruits of the flesh. And you see the works, uh, the fruit of the spirit, rather, the fruit of the spirit. When you are sanctified, the fruit of the spirit comes up. And uh, at least, at least the works of the flesh must die when you are sanctified. When you are sanctified. Go ahead. Father, this is the crux of it. Sanctify me. By your spirit, operate upon me. Operate upon my body, soul, and spirit. Remove from me every nature of sin, every habit of sin, every life of sin, remove from me for your spirit. The spirit of God cannot dwell in the same body that is still, you know, holding on to the nature of sin. No, no, no. Light and darkness cannot dwell together. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Sanctify me, sanctify us, Lord, by your spirit and remove from us anything that is not of your righteousness, is not of your spirit from our lives. Transform me, transform my brothers, transform my sisters. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I wish the lines were open so I can hear in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. So Amen. we're going to go further and pray. Say, Heavenly Father, make me your vessel of gold, vessel of honor. Oh, Father, in that year 2022, prepare me. Prepare me. Father, prepare me as your vessel of gold. Prepare me, O oh God. Go ahead and pray. Lord, in that year 2022, Heavenly Father, prepare me as your vessel of gold. Heavenly Father, in that year 2022 that we are going into, my Father, my God, prepare me as your vessel of gold. Prepare me as your vessel of gold. Prepare us. Go ahead and pray. Lord, prepare me as your vessel of gold. Prepare me as your vessel of gold in that year, 2022. 
that I am going into. Oh God, I don't want to be an ordinary vessel. No, no, no. Prepare me as your vessel of gold, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's look at that scripture again so we can pray that prayer more effectively. Second Timothy chapter 2, verses 20 and 21. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay, some for honor and some for dishonor. Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from the latter, he will be a vessel for honor, sanctified and useful for the master, prepared for every good work. Did you hear that? It is the sanctified vessel that is used for mighty works, used for honorable work. So pray that prayer again. Now you have understood. Say, Heavenly Father, sanctify me and prepare me as your vessel of gold. Lord, I want to be your vessel of gold. In that year 2022, I want you to use me for honorable uh, uh, works, honorable works. And therefore, my Father and my God, cleanse and sanctify me by your spirit and your word. Prepare me, O oh God for your good work. In that year, 2022, Father, prepare me as your vessel of gold. Make me indeed your vessel of gold for your good work, Lord. Make me your vessel of gold. Prepare me for your good work, Lord. Prepare me. Go ahead. Prepare me for your good work. Prepare me, Lord, for your good work. Make me your vessel of gold. Make me your vessel of gold, my Father, my God. Make me your vessel of gold. Prepare me for your good work. Prepare me for your good work. Prepare me for mighty works, for greater works in the year 2022. Prepare me, Lord, for your good works. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Now we're going to continue Amen. to pray. Amen. Now tell him, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, let the fruit of the Holy Spirit be mature and manifest in me. Father God, by your Spirit, by your Holy Spirit, make the fruit, the fruit of the Spirit, to be mature and manifest in me. You know, sometimes, the fruit may not be ripe, <laughs> but for us now, it's time to be ripe. In that year, 2022, Lord, I want the fruit of the Spirit in me to be mature and to manifest. Oh, my patience, let it be mature, full, mature, full maturity. Oh, I wish you can connect with this because I don't have words to express this. When I was given that prayer point, I personally was excited. I just don't know how else to express it. The Spirit will help us. Pray and say, Heavenly Father, let the fruit of the Spirit be mature in me and to manifest completely, completely in the name of Jesus. Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and to 24, while you are praying, I just read, but the fruit of the Spirit is love. Oh, let love be mature in me. Joy. Let joy be mature in me. Peace. Father, let peace be mature in me. Long suffering, which is patient. Father, let my patience be mature. Be mature. Not at one time I am impatient. At another time I am patient. Let it be mature. Consistent. That's what this maturity means. The fruit of the Spirit is kindness, goodness. Faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Oh, sometimes we lose our temper, lose our control, and we flare up, outbox. Oh, Father, let the fruit of the Spirit in me be mature and manifest. You understand the prayer now? In this, prepare me, oh God, even right now, and as I'm going into that year, 2022. Father, as your vessel, vessel of honor, Father, let the fruit of the Spirit, by your Spirit, Holy Spirit of God, let your fruit be mature in me. Make me mature in the fruit, the fruit of righteousness, the fruit of love, joy, peace, long-suffering, which is patience, kindness, 
goodness, oh God, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, and all others. Father, by your spirit, make the fruit, the fruit of the spirit, this fruit of the spirit to be mature in me and let them manifest and let them be complete in me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Pray again and say, Lord Jesus, my heart cry and desire is to know you. We're going to know him now. Is to know you more in year 2022. Please reveal yourself in a personal way to me. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, reveal yourself personally to me. Lord Jesus, my heart cry and desire is to know you more in year 2022. I don't want to be at the level that I am this year, the level that I operated this year. No, no, no. Lord, take me to a higher level of your revelation. Father God, Lord Jesus, my heart cry and desire is to know you more, is to know you more. In that year, 2022, I want to know you more. I want to know you more. Please, Lord, reveal yourself personally to me. Reveal yourself personally, personally to me. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let's read that scripture again to emphasize that prayer, but we're going to pray more. Philippians chapter 3, verse 10. Paul said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering, being conformed to his death, that I may know him. Brothers and sisters, I've said it before, the extent to which you know Jesus will determine how you walk with him, how you walk in this journey, how you run this race. If you know Jesus as the resurrection and the life, that though anybody were to die, if he has Jesus, he will be resurrected. And Jesus said, those who know him, they will not taste death. Hallelujah. If you can know him to that extent, you will walk with him to that extent. I told you, yes, when Jesus spoke to me and said, my son, when I give you my word, stand upon it even unto death. For I, Jesus, will perform it. Oh, from that day, things changed. And that's why all I pray is, Lord, please just help me to hear. Just help me to hear from your word, from by your spirit. Because when you hear his word and you stand by it, he doesn't fail. And so raise your voice now that we have read. Now you understand, pray. Say, Lord Jesus, please reveal yourself to me personally. Reveal yourself in a personal way to me, like I've just told you now. Reveal yourself to me, Lord Jesus, in a personal way. My heart cry and desire in year 2021 is to know you, is to know you, is to know you more, is to know you more is to do your will and so reveal yourself to me in a personal way. Reveal yourself to me in a personal way. Heavenly Father, reveal yourself to me in a personal way. Reveal yourself to me in a personal way. Let me know you more. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Now take that now into the second part of that prayer. We have prayed it before. But let us pray it again. Say, Heavenly Father, please let my walk, W-A-L-K, my walk, let my walk and my work please you always in 2022. Father, let my walk everywhere I go, the path that I take and go into, the things I do and my work, the things I do, Please you always in 2022, my path which I walk and the things which I do, my walk and work, 
please you always in the year 2022, that year that is coming, my Father and my God, please let my walk and my work please you always, always. Like Jesus said, he said, I please the Father always. Oh, this is where we want to be, like him, Jesus. Like him, Jesus. Let my world walk and work. Please you, Father, always in the year 2022. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Add this again and say, we are repeating it. Say, Heavenly Father, make me a vessel of gold and cause me to shine for you. Make me a vessel of gold and cause me to shine for you in the year 2022. And go ahead and first confess that I will shine for the Lord in the year 2022. Father, make me your vessel of gold, make me your vessel of honor, and cause me by your spirit to shine for you. Cause me to shine. Cause me to shine for you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Now pray, say, Heavenly Father, please enlighten my eyes of understanding in the mystery of God and his son, Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, reveal your will and purpose for my life in 2022 to me. Let me know what to focus on in my life. Heavenly Father, enlighten my eyes of understanding. Enlighten my eyes of understanding. Open my eyes to see. Open my ears to hear you. Open my mind to discern, to, de to understand your way, your purpose, your plan for my life. Father God, enlighten my eyes of understanding in the mystery of God and his son, Jesus Christ. In the mystery of God and of Jesus Christ, my Lord, my Savior. Heavenly Father, reveal your will and purpose for my life in 2022 to me. Let me know what to focus on in my life. In that year that is coming, Lord, help me that I may know what to focus on. Guide me by your spirit. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Pray again and say, Heavenly Father, let Christ be perfectly formed in me. Now and all through the year 2022 and for the rest of my life, in Jesus' mighty name. Heavenly Father, let Christ be perfectly formed in me all through the year 2022 and for the rest of my life. Let Christ be perfectly formed in me. Oh, like Jesus said to Thomas, he said, Thomas, I have been with you. Oh, sorry, I think Philip, I have been with you all this while and you do not know the Father and you're saying, show me the Father. If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Oh, that it may be so. The Christians in Antioch, they, they, the people saw them that they were like Christ. Like Christ in deeds, in power, in love, in words. They were like Christ. They saw Christ in them. And they said, these ones are Christians. They are like Christ. Oh, God, let Christ be fully, fully, perfectly formed in me in that year 2022 that I am going in. Even right now, let Christ be perfectly formed in me now and all through 2022 and for the rest of my life. I believe you have read that scripture, Ephesians chapter 1, verses 15 uh, through 21, that Christ may be formed in us uh, perfectly. Oh, that's our eyes of understanding be open. Galatians chapter 4, verse 19. Galatians 4, 19. We'll continue to pray. Father, let Christ be formed in me perfectly, perfectly, that anybody who sees me will know that Jesus dwells in me, that I I am in Jesus Christ, and Christ is in me. Let Christ fully manifest in me. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Pray again and say, Heavenly Father, I thank you for giving me, giving us the Holy Spirit through your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God, for making me your temple, the house of God. 
the house of God, the living stone unto God to perform the spiritual sacrifices unto God, Holy Spirit of God. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving me, giving us, every one of us here, giving us your Holy Spirit through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for giving us the Holy Spirit. And now, Holy Spirit, we thank you. And we ask, Holy Spirit of God, thank you for making us your temple. Thank you for dwelling in us. Thank you for coming to dwell in us. Thank you for making us your temple, your dwelling place, making us the house of God in the name of Jesus. Now go ahead and pray and say, Heavenly Father, now let your Holy Spirit manifest in me with gifts and power. Let your Holy Spirit manifest in me with gifts and power. Go ahead and pray. It's now time to desire the gift and power. You need it. You need it, my brothers and sisters. You need it. You need it. You need it. Father God, Heavenly Father, let your Holy Spirit manifest in me with gifts and power. I thank you for giving me your Holy Spirit through my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I thank you, Holy Spirit of God, for dwelling in me making me your temple. And now, my Father, let the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the power, the gifts of the Holy Spirit manifest in me, O oh God. Let there be no limit. Lord Jesus, you said, out of my belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water. Let the Spirit flow unlimited in us. Let the Spirit of God flow in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We're going to pray that prayer again. Let's read Acts chapter 1. Remember, uh, we'll just read verses 7 and 8. Well, let's read from, uh, from 5. Jesus was speaking. He said, For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. With John verse 6, 7. And he said to them, It is not for you. To know times or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority. Hey, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. While this was directly spoken to the disciples that were with Jesus. In Acts chapter 2, the Holy Spirit came. And Peter, by that, the Spirit of God said, this is the fulfillment of the prophecy that uh, Prophet Joel spoke, that God will pour his Spirit in the latter days upon all flesh. And so the Holy Spirit is for you, is for me. Now let's pray again that prayer that Jesus promised. It is the power of the Spirit that helps us to be witnesses. And witnesses is not just when you preach. Hello. Witnesses are, uh, are our entire life. We are, it, 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 it is our entire life. That is why the people in Antioch, they saw them in works, in words, in power, in manifestation of righteousness in everything in manner, and they say, these ones are like Christ by the power of the Spirit. Let's pray that prayer again and say, Heavenly Father, thank you for giving me your Holy Spirit. And thank you, Holy Spirit of God, for making me the temple of God, for dwelling in me as the temple of God. Heavenly Father, let your Holy Spirit manifest in me with gifts and power. The gifts of the Holy Spirit begin to manifest in me. The gifts of word of wisdom. The gift of word of knowledge. Uh, claim them with me. The gift of faith. The gift of healings. The gift of working of miracles the gift of tongues and interpretation of tongues, 
the gift of prophecy, the gift of discerning of spirits. Holy Spirit, let all your gifts and power manifest in me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. So these are the prayer points you continue. Finally, finally, pray with me and say, Heavenly Father, quicken me. Dear Holy Spirit, quicken me. Father, quicken me by your Holy Spirit. And dear Holy Spirit, quicken me to fulfill all of God's plan for my life in 2022. And let that year be my year of divine, abundant life in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, quicken me by your Holy Spirit. And dear Holy Spirit of God, quicken me to fulfill all of God's plan for my life in 2022. And let that year be my year of divine, abundant life in Jesus' mighty name. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. This is our last point, unless we have um, other prayer points and requests to put together. Go ahead and pray. This one is focusing on you personally, on me, Heavenly Father, quicken me. Quicken me by your spirit. Oh, quicken me, dear Holy Spirit of God, to fulfill all of God's plan for my life in the year 2022. And make that year, make that year to be my year of divine abundant life in Jesus' name. Let that year be my year of divine abundant life, unlimited life, unlimited manifestation of God's power, of God's glory, of God, of God in me. Oh, Christ in me, the hope of glory. Father God, that year my life will so please you. My life will so glorify you. My life will so honor you. Carry me, oh God, into that year of divine abundant life. Thank you, my Father, my God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We want to join our voices together and pray this last prayer point for every one of us. We want to agree that prayer. So pray with me and say, Heavenly Father, please quicken us. Quicken my brothers and sisters who are connected here upon this platform. Quicken my family, my wife, my children. Quicken us, dear Holy Spirit, to fulfill all of God's plan for our lives in the year 2022. And Father God, by your spirit, Make that year our year of divine abundant life in the mighty name of Jesus, that we will experience your divine abundant life, the fullness of God in us, Christ in us manifesting. We will be indeed like Christ totally, completely. Oh, let Christ be formed in us perfectly. Let Christ be formed in us perfectly. Oh, that we may know him, that we may know him, Jesus Christ, that we may know him, God Almighty, that the mystery of God and of his Christ, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, will be made known to us continually. We will know him more. We will know him better. We will have very personal understanding, revelations of him, Almighty God. Make that year, 2022, our year of divine abundant life. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We have a few minutes to round off. So let me just pause in case there is any specific prayer, either request or prayer need, uh, anything maybe you really feel. Oh, we should pray about this. Oh, glory be to God. Okay. 10 seconds rule applies. So if you don't speak in 10 seconds, I take it that you don't have something to say. Now, we're going to round off. 
Oh, well, we just thank God so much for all that the Lord has been doing for us. We thank God for these three days. I believe it has been intense, isn't it? Please, again, pick those prayers, put them together, add your own words and pray. And even go back and take all that we have been doing during the year. I remember the, the one was it September. Oh, it was glorious. Then we in November, pull them together. You should be on fire now when it comes to prayer. Um, so we want to round off. So we want, thank God Almighty for the grace, for the strength he has given us to wait upon him and to hold this prayer meeting uh, for the past three days. My love, tomorrow we're going to meet. We are going to minister to ourselves. We'll, we'll, tomorrow we will also try to share a bit on um, the, the season, you know. Um, it's like I said, that it's wisdom to key into the season. We're just basically going to read the Bible around the birth of Jesus and then share those lessons to remind ourselves again. But we'll keep it very short and simple. Our focus is to minister to us. The Spirit of God just must rest on every one of us. We just must, we we'll talk about sanctification. These are the areas of our focus. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us round off. Ah, as always, we'll agree again. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for how you have helped us. We thank you, Lord Jesus, our great and good shepherd. Oh, our intercessor before the Father, at the right hand of the Father. Yet, you have given us access through you, through your name, by your blood, to the Father. And the Father loves us. We well, thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Oh, there is just no one else like Jesus in heaven on earth, beneath the earth, there is no one else like you, Jesus. It's just not possible. Oh, we love you and we thank you. We thank you, Holy Spirit of God, how you have helped us through. Heavenly Father, we come in agreement by faith, according to your word. The Lord, all that we have asked, in prayer, as you have ordained that we should ask anything in the name of Jesus, and you will do for us. Now we agree that you will do all that we have asked. And Heavenly Father, beyond what we have asked, we pray, O oh God, that your divine purpose and will and destiny for our lives be fulfilled in us. Help us, oh God, by your spirit to fulfill your divine will, purpose, and destiny for our life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we agree that all you have ordained for us, for our peace, for our enjoyment, all your provisions, all your blessings, all you have ordained for us, Lord, May you bring them all to pass, to fulfillment in our lives. So, Father, we pray together that the meeting of tomorrow will be like none other before. There will be outpouring of your Holy Spirit upon us. Our lives will be transformed. Your sanctification will be vivid vividly experienced by every one of us and everyone who will connect upon this program. Father God, we return all glory, all praise, all thanks to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And now, Lord, as we 
and the fast. Lord, we pray that our health will break forth speedily. Nobody who has joined this meeting, this program, will ever fall sick again. But Lord, by the stripes of Jesus, let every one of us live in perfect health, sound health, sound body, soul, and spirit. Let the spirit of life in Christ Jesus continually provide that life, everlasting life in us including divine health. Thank you, our Lord and our God, for we have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's share the grace, the grace Amen. of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, God. and the sweet fellowship, the sweet fellowship of the Holy, Spirit. the Holy Spirit. Be with us. With us now and now forever. And forever. Amen. 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 Almighty Amen. God, God bless you. Goodness and mercy shall follow all the days of our life. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. God bless you.